We, we did Britain's Got, Got Talent! What? Oh my gosh, we're finally, finally able to talk about it. Sorry we've been lying to you and keeping it quiet. It's anyway, been so hard. here's a sneak peek of what's coming up. Jamie can't be on stage with us, boys, eh? It actually feels like a lifetime ago that we did it. I mean, it was quite a while ago. It was in January. Yeah. And we'd been working on it for almost two years. Two, yes, it's been two years in the making. It feels so good to finally be able to talk about it. Exactly. But the reason why we are now sitting down and chatting about it is because a few sneaky subscribers may have spotted us on TV. Quite a few. We've had a lot of messages and on Instagram saying, can you just clear this up? I think I saw you on Britain's Got Talent. Yes, so. Well, you did. Yes, we did Britain's Got Talent and what an experience. It was super, super fun. So we just want to kind of go through some of the day with you. Yeah. Um, and then Bring try behind and show the you scenes. as much as we can. So I guess we should start at the beginning. Um, why Britain's Got Talent? Why did we decide to do it? Because as a lot of you know, I love to sing and perform and be on stage. You, you were quite nervous, weren't like you? It. I, don't I had to persuade Jamie. I like being able to edit videos and you know have full control over everything. Britain's Got Talent and doing something like this, it's like, you're there, you're getting filmed. I'm terrible in front of the camera. It was such a huge thing for you to do, and yeah. I'm so, so grateful to Jamie for doing it. One of the big reasons we decided to do the show was because I was on maternity leave, I was at home with Rupert, I needed something to sort of sink my teeth into and feel creative and start writing again. Um, so we did actually write an original song for the show, didn't we? We did, yeah. So because of COVID, the audition process this year was slightly different and you could submit videos. So we did. Uh, and then we were back and forth with the producers on what we would want to perform if we were to be in front of the judges. And um, we decided with them that we were going to write an original song, kind of comedy, which... It was a definitely, a, it was a parody. Yeah. Kind of, because, you know, we're known for the wedding song and changing lyrics to well-known songs but because of copyright issues on TV we had to write an original. Yeah we couldn't use old songs because they would have to pay too much money especially we'd have to go through quite a few songs so they tasked us with writing our own song. And if that wasn't enough because you know we aren't songwriters but I feel like we can sort of pull together something. Um, no we aren't songwriters we're also not comedians. <laughs> And they challenged us to make the song funny. So we had to sit down and become comedians and songwriters for the next few months and really think about what we wanted to talk about. Um, but one thing we do know a lot about, marriage. Yeah. So the song was a parody of marriage. Marriage slash relationships. Yeah, it started off kind of very sweet and then it took a huge nosedive and we ended up having like a bit of an argument on stage. We wanted like and... a little fun Barney, like back and forth between us, but the whole beginning, like the first, what was it, 20, 30 seconds? Yeah. Really sweet and lovey-dovey. And then it's like, oh, marriage isn't what everyone thinks. It felt very Disney. It felt very musical. It was... That's the vibe we were going for. It was a bit of us. But there was absolutely nothing to lose by doing it. And we did have a lot of fun yeah, throughout we, the whole process. The whole time, because this is, as we said, it's like a two year process because we were meant to be on last January, which in a video we explained, oh, we've got some amazing news to tell you in Jan, but then it had to be postponed a year. Anyway, so we were kind of toying with the idea of, do we actually really want to do it? And as Megan said, we were just kind of like, we'll always look back and think, what if we had done it? If, yeah. So we were like, you know what, let's just do it. And there was a chance to sing on the stage at the London Palladium, which has been one of Megan's dreams. I think we've said it in a vlog. We have. And that was before knowing this. I think before we had fully committed to it. A big, big sort of thing on my bucket list was to sing a song in the West End on stage. And I did it at the Palladium, one of the oldest theatres in London. You loved it. And I think you were in your element. I think I was very nervous still. The whole day was, I wasn't too nervous because for reasons we'll go into in a minute, we couldn't really get nervous. We had a lot going on. But when it came to the actual performance, I kind of just shut down a little bit. Anyway, we made it to the Palladium and 
wow, what a theatre. So the whole day, well, should we just run them through the day a little bit? Well, we do have a bit of vlog because we go to sound yes. check and we... Um, oh, we so we arrived really early. We did sound check backstage, had loads of interviews. So yeah, let's just give you a little sneak peek um, of what went on on the day. And we're off. We're on our way. We are on our way. It has just gone 7.30 in the morning. Bearing in mind Rupert normally wakes up at like quarter to seven, it really has been a mad rush. We've got Super Gran in the back. Hello. Super Gran is here to look after Rupert for the day. Um, whilst we, I don't know, well, what's in store? We don't know. Oh God, it's gonna be a long day. It is gonna be a long day. Uh, I think there's gonna be lots of filming. We are supposed to be performing around about two o'clock or 2.40ish. So fingers crossed everything is, is running to time. Uh, are you nervous? Yeah, it's starting to kick in. I'm not nervous yet, just because it has been such a rush getting out the door and Rupert's been a brilliant distraction. Um, we've not really been thinking about it, but I'm sure when we arrive and we start to see all the big BGT signs, oh, it's going to really kick in then. So we've got about a 40 minute drive park up and we are uh, across the road in a hotel to begin with um, and then we'll move across to the London Palladium. We're just doing an emergency shirt throwing on. We've almost arrived and I thought I better put my shirt on just in case there's cameras outside. Oh no. Oh, Rupert's going. Nearly there. Two minutes. Oh, you look great in this lift. Yeah? Red sparkles everywhere. Woohoo! Shame you can't be on stage with us, Boise. Hello, Rupert. Hello. Wow, so this is behind the scenes, Rupert. He's been an absolute angel today so far. It's like he knows. He knows he has to be he a good boy. He's got to be You've been so good, well been done. So good. Proud of you. The team here are amazing. It couldn't have been more helpful to our situation. It's just, yeah, amazing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right. So we're going to go in, do sound check, um, go back to the hotel, which is where the holding room is. Um, my mum's got Rupert, she's pacing the streets. Getting yeah, that's why we often don't have him in the shot. Grand Grand. Is Grand yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're outside, look. Ah, stage door. Ah. So exciting. So we are backstage. We're still here. It's now in the Marriott. nearly three o'clock. I don't think the show's quite started yet. But we've done four interviews so far. Yeah, four interviews. We've done a lot of kissing. So, many, so much kissing and some really corny, cheesy stuff. But... If we make it to the TV, you are all going to have a really good belly laugh. <laughs> We're just waiting here and then um, soon, I think pretty soon, we'll be called through to the Palladium. We'll get shuttle over. And then we go on stage. Time. I think we've got quite a lot of people in the crowd, so we're hoping that we'll get a few weeks. Lots of weeks and cheers. Yeah. So there you go, there's a little bit of footage that we took. We didn't actually film that much um, because it was so hectic. Rupert was actually five months old. Yeah. And they wanted Rupert to be there. Um, also, we probably wouldn't have found someone to look after Rupert all day because we had to be there at 8 a.m. in the morning. And this is in London, like an hour away. And we eight, were home at 8 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock at night. 12 we got hours. Home. Uh, so yeah, Rupert was five months old. He was with us the whole time. But... With my mum, yeah. and also a lovely um, sort of like you can like hire a nanny for the day yeah. sort of thing. We've used so we had two the of them there. She's she was great. brilliant. So Rupert was five months. He was a big handful. Um, but you will have seen in that little short bit of footage, Jamie and I sort of sat down being interviewed. So like the cameras were on us, and this was that particular interview that you saw. That was probably our third interview of the day. So we had already had two previous interviews that were like 20 minutes, half an hour each. We had like five 20 to 25 minute interviews during the day. Plus then like the interview with Anton Deck and obviously yeah. the performance yeah. and the interview afterwards with Anton Deck. But yeah, there was so much, so much footage. But we need to tell you about that particular interview because Oh my goodness, it was so embarrassing. I just wanted the ground to swallow me up. So. You can kind of see there's a few cameras there, but I think there was like three cameras surrounding us. 
everyone in the background. There was a few producers and runners and we had our normal interview. It was but like yeah. 15 minutes of normal chatting. The idea with this one was to film us just sort of chatting to each other mm. as though like no one else was around us. No one was talking to us. Just It was just a moment between myself and Jamie. So the producer said, um, oh, so we've been thinking about um, you guys, because obviously each act has a narrative, they have a story, it's part of the entertainment of the show. Um, and they said, we've been thinking about you two and, and what we want to sort of do, and how would you feel about using some props in the interview? And we were like, mm. props? Hmm, okay, interesting. sounds interesting. What it's kind like, of props did you have in mind? Keeping in mind, they didn't do this for anyone else. They said that to us, we're like, we specifically got stuff for you guys. So he came in, he was like, how do you feel about presenting a rose to Megan? And I was like, okay. That's yeah, not too bad. Know. A rose, nice rose. We're going rose. for the whole lovey-dovey thing so that when the song changes, it's more impactful. So we yeah. can kind of see why they're trying to portray us As, you know, that we love each other. Which we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the rose. And then he was like, we've also got some strawberries. Would you mind feeding each other strawberries and... I was like, well, you know, I like strawberries, but feeding each other strawberries, oh gosh. Might be on TV, but we've got like three producers, three cameras around us. How we're do you say like, no? Mm, okay, yeah, that's fine. And he said, last thing, we kind of want to reenact the Lady in the Tramp spaghetti scene. And he brought out these egg noodles and we were like, God. um... Yeah, 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 sure, we'll do that. At the time, I was like, can I say I'm allergic to egg? Yeah, like, we should have done that. Like, what can I say to get out of this? And it was just so embarrassing. So we were literally looking at each other with an egg noodle between us yeah. going... Doo, 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 doo. We took one for the team by doing it. We just threw ourselves into the whole experience. If you're going to do Britain's Got Talent or any of those sort of shit, you just got to go full hog, just yeah. completely... You have just got to go for it. Um, so that was an interesting interview, but we just sort of felt like on the day, you know, it was, it was really exciting because there was a lot happening with us mm. and there's obviously a lot of acts in the holding room and it just seemed as though they wanted to sort of hang out with us and chat with us quite yeah. a lot and Rupert. So we got quite excited by all of that. Um, and so when they took us to sound check, that was all really, really quick, wasn't it? Yeah, because not everyone gets a sound check as well, we found out. Yeah. So when we went across, we arrived and we can hear some of the other acts already performing, which we can't talk... The one that happened just before us, they haven't actually been on the show yet. No. But they were incredible. They were amazing. Um, anyway, we got there, we then got mic'd up, we spoke to people, but it was such a, like, straight in, onto the stage, do your sound check, piano got wheeled in, I played the piano... And then it was all a bit of a blur, you're out. Yeah, we just did sound check to like the staff in the room. So there was maybe 30 people um, and we got quite a few laughs yeah. from that small crowd. So that kind of like gave me a bit more confidence for the real and thing. And for me, that was the only time I had a proper look around the Palladium. Yeah. Because bef later on you got all the lights on you and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, that was the time where you can look up and see how big it is. It's amazing. Like it is, it's such a cool venue. Yeah. So after sound check, we went back into the holding room and we were waiting for quite a while. We um, had loads more interviews as well. We did, yeah. but there was a lot of sort of downtime, uh, just trying to keep Rupert entertained. And then at around about six o'clock, I think, yeah, six yeah. p.m. in the evening, we got called up to head back over to the Palladium and go on stage in front of the judges. So just to recap, the four judges on Britain's Got Talent are... David Walliams, comedian, love him. Alicia Dixon, Amanda Holden, and of course, everyone knows him, the one and only Simon, Simon Cowell. Cowell. We didn't think Simon was gonna like the performance. We thought the other three might, because they like a bit of humor, a bit of you know music, that yeah. sort of thing. Simon, he hasn't really been one to enjoy musical comedy acts before. He likes dancing dogs. Yeah, so we were a little bit nervous about Simon's reaction. But we went out on stage and we had so many of our friends and family in the audience. Maybe like, what, 20, 25? Something like that, yeah. There was loads of them. Unfortunately, your parents couldn't make it. No, my parents had COVID like a few days before, so they couldn't come down, which is annoying. Massive shame. But we had loads of support. My university friends came down, yeah. which is brilliant. They made a big day of it because it's quite a long session. You have to be in there as an audience. It's free to watch, but you're in there for ages. And actually, after we finished the performance, which we'll talk about in a minute, we actually got a message on Instagram because we were about to go out and we thought, what are the chances of there being a subscriber in the audience? We thought, no chance at all. 
Um, because they're all over the world. And it, there was, there, there was, was one, one of, there was one. They messaged us. And they, and they like, kept our oh. secret. They did. So, so thank, thank you. you. Can't remember if you're was, watching, but. thank you very much. <laughs> they even sent some pictures. So possibly some of the pictures are a little video we might put in. Uh, that was from them, so thank you. I won't name them because they'll get in trouble. <laughs> uh, so let's get on to the performance itself. So just before we went out on stage, we obviously met Ant and Dick. Oh. So we had a tiny, tiny little chat with them um, at, at the side of the stage. And the first thing they said to us was, Rupert, where's Rupert? Yeah. How's Rupert? They and we were like, Rupert. I mean, obviously they're, they're given briefing notes yeah. about each act. Everything's so scripted. They so, yeah, you know. they must have looked into it, but it was just so strange to hear, how's Rupert? How's Rupert yeah, doing? It's, it's weird to think that they know who Rupert is. Yeah, really bizarre, but they were lovely. Yeah. We had a bit of um, bands back and forth with them about sort of them being a double act, us being a double act. Uh, they said there's no future there's in no it. There's no future in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was time and they said, the stage is yours. And I just remember walking out to like the biggest roar from the crowd. Like yeah. they're obviously so excited about all the different acts. And I think the people in between uh, jeer them up. They've got like a, what are they call a, a compare? Yeah, like a compare. And then also uni friends would have probably gone crazy. Yeah. So that, that jeers up that part. Of I the just remember there. looking up at all the different tiers and just being like, wow, this is incredible. I didn't have my glasses, so I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I felt, regret. but at the time, like, I don't, you're not holding anything. And I kind of got that like awkward hand syndrome where yeah, you're like, yeah. I don't really know what to do with my hand. So I remember just being like stood there on the stage like this. And I was like, put my hand behind you and then yeah. kind of stop me. I don't know, it was, all, it was all strange. So the judges asked us a few questions like who we are, where are we from? What do we do? <laughs> I love the moment where Simon was like, so Jamie, like, what do you do for a living? And I said, I, I have my own business. And, and then was like, Alicia said, what business? And I said, it's a tech company. I wasn't really giving much away because I thought that if I basically advertise my company, they're not going to put it on TV anyway. So but then, I was very short. Then, and then they were like, well, if you've got your own company, like, what if you do well in this competition? Are you going to give up the company? And Jay was like, no. <laughs> so, yeah. I said no, and then I did quickly afterwards say, I oh, we have someone else to run the business. <laughs> we were like, quick, dig ourselves out of this hole. They hate yeah. us already. Anyway, we, um, we got going. So you were playing the piano. Yeah. I was singing and sort of acting a bit. Um, so a little bit of back, back and forth. And it did. It went really well. Yeah. And like we said, I think if we allowed the nerves to just get the better of us, I think I would have sounded quite shaky, but because we had Rupert all day, because there was so much going on. It was, it was a balancing act of like, where's Rupert now? What are we doing? We just Feed Rupert. didn't think about it. Yeah, and it, it was, was like, go. And the first harmony that we were supposed to do, Jamie forgot, to, yeah. Jamie forgot to do it. But it didn't matter because I was no just singing knew. anyway. So yeah. no, no one else knew, but I knew. And I thought, okay, there's a, we're just getting into it now. Like there's, there are a few nerves here. And then as the song went on, I just felt like it got better and better. Yeah. And um, there's like a big note at the end and a big finish. It's and... obviously hard with these talent shows to do an original song because the, the audience don't know what's coming. No. Um, whereas if you do a cover, then it's a, a lot better. Well, a lot easier to get them on your side, I guess. Yeah, but we got some laughs and yeah, they all seemed to enjoy it. So then we had the judges feedback. Yeah. Afterwards. Oh, and on that, I went from the piano. So we walked on with the microphones, walked over to the piano, clipped it in. And when I got up, I walked around to the front to go and stand to the um, judges. I don't know if you saw this. I left my microphone back on the piano. So one of the staff from the side ran onto the stage, unclipped it and handed it to me. Yeah. It was... Um, I think your head really was a bit all over the yeah, place, I wasn't just, it? Yeah, and it, I even knew when I was walking around to the front, I was like, oh, I've forgotten my microphone. Do I walk back and grab it? Ah, oh, I'll just leave it. I'll let Megan do the talking. Anyway, we got chatting um, and they all loved it, which was yeah. brilliant. So like the judges made a few jokes at our expense, which we, we, we took as gonna... a compliment. Yeah. So Amanda was like, it was very Waitrose. And we were like, wow, what an interesting comment. Waitrose um, is a supermarket in the UK. But it's like a high end, yeah. it's they like the it, posh supermarket. It I wasn't mean, a Lidl, it we, wasn't Aldi. No, it was, it was, it was very Waitrose. What's the equivalent in America? We've got an American audience. I don't know. Whole they. Foods? Do they have that in America? I yeah, don't Whole know. Yeah, Whole Foods, I think so. Yeah. Um, anyway, we took that as a compliment because she was lighter. She was comparing us to a, a high-end, very nice supermarket. <laughs> 
And then like Simon chipped in and he said, you two are just very sweet, aren't you? He said, I imagine that if you were to have a picnic in the park, little birds would be like flying above your head. Tw- yeah. And like tweeting. We're like, okay, yeah, we'll David take Williams that, funny. David Williams said, um, I think he said we're really sweet and you make me physically sick. Yeah. He, but in a nice way because the whole song was like, oh, lovey-dovey to begin with. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Alicia said that maggie has got the most amazing voice. Yeah, so that was really that nice. That was really nice to have. And David was great because he said there's no, like, husband and wife duo in the UK. Well, comedy duo. Comedy duo, And this is the thing with the whole, we don't, our wedding song, obviously, there was some comedy in it, but we don't want to go down that route of just comedy couple. Yeah. It'd be nice to do more music, um, but not comedy. I think there's a limited range of what you could do with that. But anyway, they seem to like it, which is really good. Yeah. It was all a massive blur. Well, it came down to the yeses or noes. Oh, of course, yeah. So we didn't get any buzzers. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, four yeses. yeses. We got four yeses. Can't believe Simon said yes. I know. He was the last one. He he was a bit like, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'm giving you a yes. I think it helped that we did mention that we had a video online that went viral, and then Simon's ears pricked up. Like, yeah, he was like, what, what? what? So after the performance, he also said, was that the song that went viral? And we were, and we were like, like, no, no of course no. not. <laughs> Obviously not. But it was great. And then before we knew it, we were off stage. So it just all happened so quickly. And still to this day, it just feels like a blur. I remember waking up the next day and it was as though you'd had a few drinks the day before and the day was a bit fuzzy and all a bit of a blur. Yeah. And um, I mean, it was an amazing experience. And also we spoke to Anton Deck after we came off stage. Yeah. Had a little chat with them. And then we had even more interviews. We did all the social stuff. Oh, yeah, we did a little Mr. and Mrs. game. But and... At that point, we were just like, let's just get Rupert home because it was so late and he it was way past his bedtime. I do actually think we've got a bit of footage at the very, very end of the day um, that we can cut to now just so you can see how exhausted we were because um, I was still breastfeeding, expressing, pumping like just before we went on stage. So here's a bit of footage from the very end of the day. We did it! We are just leaving the London Palladium now and we got four yeses! Woohoo! It was amazing. We're going to get in the car and we'll give you a debrief. So I think it's important just to touch on uh, everyone who's involved in the show. All of the people, the staff working backstage. The show is absolutely massive. There's so many workers and every single person we spoke to was amazing. Yeah. Really, really kind. I know some of these shows sometimes can get a bit of a bad rap, rep. But it was, we had such a good day. Yeah, they were all really kind, really helpful, so accommodating of Rupert. Oh, yeah. Um, so we really did appreciate all Thank of you. their support. Thank so. you to that Thank team. Thank you. So. so what next? What next? We've done it all. We got four yeses. What happens next in the whole Britain's Got Talent process? There was a long well, wait. There was an awful, awfully long wait. Um, but during that time, so you are encouraged to um, prepare a second song or something just in case you know you go through you're all ready to go because it's not like they can say oh you're through and then you've literally got like two weeks to prepare and also four yeses doesn't mean you're actually through to the live shows no Um, they just like it and then they have to whittle it down out of loads of them they did go through the numbers so they ended up seeing hundreds and i mean hundreds of live acts at the palladium so it was all held at the palladium again because of covid over sort of eight to ten days yeah. so they ended up seeing loads and loads of acts um, and they had to whittle it down to 40 uh, for the for the semi-finals five of which were golden buzzer acts which means they automatically go through to the finals Automat- so we were competing for essentially 35 places out of hundreds of acts that were that were shown um, so we unfortunately aren't through, We're to not the through to the semi finals. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. You that's know, a good experience. still got to do these things. We enjoyed things. it. Yeah, we did. Um, so that's the, the sad news. But the good news is we have prepared so much material that we need to put out there. We had to obviously show what we could do. If for we a were semi-final, in the semi-final. So for we did a write final. a whole song which was like Britain's Got Talent the musical. I think we could tell them that. Yeah. Uh, I, it I love goes, it. It was uh, we thought it was really good. It's pretty much finished. It's pretty much finished. So we might be able to show you that. Well, you're gonna have to let us know if you wanna see it. If you wanna see our audition song, 
Yeah. The Britain's Got Talent, the musical that we wrote. Let us know in the comments section. We wanted to do the Britain's Got Talent, the musical, with a video and like release it at the same time as the finals. Yeah. This is what we would have done. But yeah, we uh, unfortunately the acts were so good. They are amazing quite this hard. year. We were up against. I don't know if anyone's ever seen this film called The Greatest Showman. Uh, there is a song in that, uh, Never Enough, and the singer called Lauren Allred. Lauren Allred, who's been on tour, I think, with Michael Bublé. She auditioned, and shock, she got the golden buzzer. Yeah. Uh, so obviously you're up against people like that. There's uh, people who are on France has got talent, Italy's got talent. The one guy who's done Italy, Bulgaria. Oh, he's done loads. Australia. They've, he's basically been to all of the. He's doing a little tour of the got talents around the world. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's amazing. There's also obviously acts that aren't known. Um, and we saw some of them They're performing. The ones we love. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're rooting, rooting for them. For those ones. Yeah, I think the British public like will be as well, but yeah, I think they will. Root be. for British people who aren't known. Yeah. Because that is what that's what it, how it started. Yeah. Britain's Got Talent started well, like when that. When you're competing against the likes of Lauren Allred, no one dare us two <laughs> didn't get through. <laughs> Just a little husband and wife. She was great. She was amazing. <laughs> amazing. So I think that's kind of where we're at with it. So obviously the show is uh, on TV now here in the UK. So every Saturday night they show roughly 10 acts. And like we said, there were hundreds and hundreds to choose from. So there are no guarantees that you will end up on TV. So I know um, some of the subscribers already saw a tiny little clip of yep. us. Um, but in terms of the show showing our entire audition, it's, there's just never a guarantee and we don't, we are pretty confident now that it's not going to be shown. There is a chance it was on last night, but it, yeah. it won't be because yeah. I think we've seen the acts that will be performing. Yeah. You know who was on TV more than us? Our family. Our family. Yeah, my sister, <laughs> my auntie, um, my dad. Yeah. They were there were so many, so many clips of them. Yeah. And we would watch every week, like worried that we were going to come up and like really nervous. And then we'd be like, oh, look, there's Abby. Yeah. There's Han. Yeah. So I think everybody had a lot of fun doing it. Oh, it was definitely, it was such an experience. I'm so glad we did it. Obviously a bit of a shame that we didn't go through to the semis. It was something that was so nice to work on together when Rupert was being so tough and like the sleepless nights. Cause yes, we were exhausted spending every single waking minute, well I was anyway, like writing, writing, writing. Oh yeah, and, and also we, doing YouTube videos. Yeah, like, trying to... like it, it was full on, it was a lot, um, but I don't regret doing it. It was a brilliant experience and yeah, it's just one of those things we can tell the grandkids. Yeah, and you never know some point in future if Rupert ever wanted to do Britain's Got Talent, there'll be footage of him. They'll be able to like go into the archives yeah. and like bring out the footage. And 10 years ago, Rupert auditioned like, with his mum and dad. This was so amazing. <laughs> this is why I'm doing it to sort of like repair my family's street cred. <laughs> That's yeah. what he'll be doing. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was a little bit of fun. Do let us know in the comment section, as I said, if you want us to sit down and record the songs and show them to you because we will, we'll happily do that. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please do, yeah. And I think, checking at my, looking at my phone, it's time for Rupert to wake up. Thank you everyone. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. We will, like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.